All right, guys. This is it. This is the this is the film camera giveaway. Uh, I am giving away a Belomo Agat 18K by many of you guys' requests. Um, I'm actually really happy that a lot of people have been emailing me questions and commenting in all my videos. Uh, and this was this camera is actually very sought out for and extremely rare in the U.S. So I'm going to give this one away as my first one, and I'm going to help raise awareness for my Kickstarter campaign that I'll be starting soon. Uh, I'll get back to that in a minute. I just want to talk about the camera giveaway real quick and I'm going to show you how to load this camera and rewind. So this is the I got 18k. I did another video which you could click here to see. Um, it's made by Belomo. So let's take the cap off. A little quick little rundown of this one. Uh, it's a very simple camera. Uh, I I don't know if you can see it. There, there it is. Now we're in focus. Pretty simple. See that little line up there? Match it to whatever. This is the aperture dial. Match it to if it's sunny or cloudy or if you're indoors. And where you can use the aperture numbers down here. There is no shutter speed control. Um, it's all It's all aperture priority, I guess. And or shutter priority because there's only one shutter speed and you set the ISO down here by moving this little dial that's it uh, so that's how you control the camera and to use it you wind hit the shutter button that's it uh, there's no film in this one but I will show you how to rewind the film let's see right here there's you should be able to see a little red dot and a white dot uh, press this in a little and rotate it to the red dot. It should this little thing should pop out. And all you do, see this? Turn, just like any other camera. And that's how you rewind the film. Uh, there's no film in this, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you how to load it. So, little lever guy down here. Push that little button, whatever it is, and then pull it apart. Boom. This is the inside. Keep in mind. It does come with a little spool. This you can take this out if you want. Um, that's it for that right there. Here's the film. Bam. Here's the inside of the camera. This is a pressure plate. Move it up. The pressure. Uh, get that pressure plate out of the way. And then put your film in just like that. And let's zoom in a little. See these little sprockets. This sprocket wheel operates the entire camera. If the film isn't moving the sprocket wheel, the camera is not going to work. So, and that's how that is. Whoops, forgot to put the film into the spool, which is pretty simple. Let's extend this out a little. Come on out. That was a little too much. Wind that back up. All right, try again. So, film in. Push this guy down. Put the film in the little spool. There is a tiny little catch that is actually pretty strong, so I try to just put it in a little, and then it's already caught, as you can see there. And wind it just a little. That's so all you want to do for this camera. Close the the pressure plate. This puts pressure on the film so that it is on the sprockets, which it is not right now. So I gotta now it is. Now it's on the sprockets. Make sure those sprockets are covered. Pressure plate back on. Take the camera back. Put it in here. You also want to make sure that this lines up with that little nipple down there. Um, the only hard part about it is if it doesn't really line up, you just have to jiggle it a little. So, there. So, wind it. Wind, 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 wind. Stops. One, two, bam. This is how you load the Agat 18K. And this could be yours. Um, here's the quick rules on this camera, or on the contest, sorry. You have to be a subscriber. So, make sure you subscribe. And you also have to be. Oh, you have to. You also have to leave a comment, and you have to live 
in the U.S. I, I might change that rule. Um, I'll, I'll check out shipping and all that other stuff. But for now, the contest is open. Everybody in the world. Uh, I live in the U.S., so wherever I can't ship, so you're not. If you live in Cuba, you can't win. So I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, contest rules. Be a subscriber and comment down below. Uh, just, I guess, tell me something about yourself, why you like film photography, and what's your favorite camera, what type of film you use. Um, I just don't I, I, I do like reading comments, so if I just see like comments like, hey, I'm entered, eh, I'd, I'd like to see something about my subscribers, so tell me about yourself, what film you use, what's your favorite camera, um, and how long you, have you guys been shooting film, and let me know if you develop at home, all that kind of cool stuff, just tell me about your photography life. Also, if you live in the Philly area, um, or the Delaware area, I live in Delaware, sorry, so I would like to get a photo walk going, and if you guys want to do a meetup, cool, leave a comment below, and that's how, that's it, that's how you enter the contest, so I'll be giving the camera away maybe 40 days from now, a month, we'll play by ear because my camera sucks, which is why I'm doing a Kickstarter for my 116 film project, you guys, you guys have seen this camera in the past, I believe, in one of my videos. Um, this is a Zeiss like, Iconta D. It uses 116 film, which is a freaking huge film format. Bam! It uses unperforated 70 millimeter film. Here's a bag of 116 film that I have. Uh, a nice a viewer who's turned into a good friend sent me a refrigerator because I've been collecting film and needed a freezer and the freezer chest downstairs is has food in it and I just don't want to mix food and film together so thank you for that refrigerator uh, so here's some frozen 116 film it is the only batch I cannot find any other 116 film that is fresh to date that has been frozen. I've already shot a couple rolls and it works perfectly. Uh, I've been developing in black and white because I don't have color chemicals, but let's find one that's down here and see the expiration date. This one is expired in 83. Some of them are 1978. This one expired in 1978 as well. So these have been frozen since the 70s. That's awesome. Um, that is my 116 film project that I will be doing a Kickstarter for. Just keep an eye out for that, guys. And I will be giving a lot more cameras away to help fund and ra raise awareness for my 116 film project. And also my love for antique film formats. Um, I also have another project that I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to put it... In oh, also I'm making a book for specifically for this film format and this camera. Um, since the film format is about to completely die, it's hard to get 70 millimeter film. I just wanted to show the world how awesome this camera was, is. Um, this camera's from 1920. And, I don't know, I love antique film formats. Um, especially ones that I can make myself. Because I do have non-perforated film. This is just a couple of them. I have been collecting... Uh, non-perforated film 70 millimeter film for the past like five years here's some portrait that's been in my freezer forever uh, I have a couple rolls of the Ilford aerial film and actually there is a small batch order that which you can buy from like freestyle you can buy a roll of this for like $189 Ugh. I mean it's expensive but I might buy another roll um, I also have developing down to a science. Here's my 116 film spool that I made from a long roll, or a 70 millimeter long roll film reel. Uh, if you subscribe to my Instagram or look at my other videos on how to develop 70 millimeter film or 116 film, I have it down to a science now. I've made my own roll or uh, reel that fits in my little Jobo processor and agitator or my tank, and it's not a processor, why do I keep calling it that? But, yep, got my 
70 millimeter film developing down with science. I also have a giant uh, 70 millimeter film tank, which uses a long roll. I can't show it to you right now, it's so heavy. But on to my next project. This is two cameras that I have. It uses 127 film. Got a nice batch of frozen Coda Color Gold 200. Uh, when did this expire? Let's see, 1989. So, wow, it's almost as old as me. Um, this is this is going to be one. In, this is going to be probably one of my primary shooters, just because I love this film format. Bam! Look at all that film I got frozen for dirt cheap. Um, the first roll is in here, so it, it'll be my test roll. This is the Yashica 44. Again, it uses 127 film. It is extremely petite for a TLR. Yep, this is a TLR. It's a twin lens reflex camera. Let's see if I can get an image or something. Let me move my hand. Bam. You can see my hand right there. Yep. So, this is one of my 127 film cameras, and this is my other. Uh, I picked up this star meter for a couple bucks. This is a Kodak Brownie star meter. Actually, this is an unboxing. This is a brand new camera. Uh, still in the original package. It was still on display, too. So, what's nice about this brownie is it has a built in light meter, which still works. Let's see if I can cover the meter up. Maybe it goes down. Or maybe if I point it towards the light. Yep, it still moves. So, this camera uses 127 film as well. And let's put that back in the box. Uh, and that's about it, guys. So that's my 116 film project, which I'm writing a book for, which Kickstarter is going to help sponsor. I'm desperate in need of a computer. That's why I haven't you haven't seen many updates. Uh, my MacBook is deteriorating, literally. The battery exploded, uh, so I threw it away. Got a new one, and the button for the battery does not last or is broken, so the battery falls out. So now it just sits on the AC plug all the time, and it's also from 2007 which is not a good MacBook to do HD videos for and to also scan film negatives. It literally takes me forever to scan my film. Um, so anyways, I also have unperforated film, which is what the 127 film uses. 127 film looks like 120 film. It has that paper backing, but it uses 35 millimeter film. Ah, it's kind of confusing, yeah. So, this is unperforated, which means there's no sprocket holes. And I've had this roll forever, so I did, I've always wanted to do this project. But it, it just never had the the motivation until now. So I can shoot all these rolls and then re-spool them with fresh film. And this needs to go back in the freezer because it's thawing. So, guys, yep. That is my update on everything. Uh, there's going to be, remember... Keep an eye out for my Kickstarter campaign for 116 film and a book. Um, I will be giving a lot of stuff away for that for that uh, cam Kickstarter campaign. And next video, well, I don't know, maybe not the next video. Uh, maybe two videos from now, I'm not sure. Um, I will be giving away this camera, my beloved Bellomo. I got 18K. I think this one was made in 1980 in Soviet Russia. Um... Yeah, so guys, remember, contest rules, you must be a subscriber, so click subscribe up there, and leave a comment below. So, boom, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, just tell me about yourself, your love of film photography and all that. And I'll be doing a raffle in uh, maybe a month, 40 days, to give away this camera. So guys, keep an eye out, subscribe, and thank you very much. And also keep an eye on that, on that Kickstarter campaign. Uh, my next video should be talking about that one. So thank you. Bye.